Chapter 5 The Most Beautiful Girl in the World News of a beauty with peerless elegance coming to Dragon Inn had been the hot topic of the capital city of Ling Province for the past two days, second only to Prince Xu's return in terms of buzz. Rumor had it that this lady was even more alluring than the top courtesan of Ling Province, Yo Wei. The beauty had regard for no one and carried with her two blades differ in length, scaring off many a lusty chap. Perhaps only the prince of Northern Liang could hope to rub shoulders with such a fine creature. Three days later, amid everyone's expectations, Xu Fengyan finally did come. The inn emptied out all of a sudden. The innkeeper wore a fawning smile as he served up a treasured jar of the finest aged liquor, claiming it was to welcome the Prince of Northern Liang and refresh him after his travels. Xu Fengyan sat facing White Foxface, personally opening the jar of liquor and unleashing a sweet scent into the air. He served a cup over, which was ignored. Xu Fengyan put down the cup, unable to stifle a laugh. Relax. I'm not interested in fellow guys. Or are you worried I'll snatch your blades? My, what do you take me for? White Foxface smiled and took a gentle sip, then said, Indeed. Someone who is able to casually give away the hollowed, heretic tome scripture of gold doesn't seem like one who would drool over Nivisword and Tony Trustwood. Xu Fengyan raised his cup and spoke. I toast to you. White Foxface cocked her head slightly in a questioning look. You've convinced me that indeed there's a skilled warrior capable of tearing through a hundred fierce bandits all on his own. Thanks for broadening my horizons. White Foxface still looked concerned, so Xu Fengyan elaborated. There are more than a few skilled fighters of your level in the castle, but I've never seen them in action, so I'd always held doubts on how powerful skilled combatants really are. White Foxface lowered her head and took one gulp of liquor. Xu Fengyan smiled. So, you're waiting for me. What's up? White Foxface broke into a smile and cut to the chase. I want to enter the Ting Chao Pavilion and finish reading all the secret martial literature. Xu Fengyan spoke with knitted brows. Just so you can become the world's top master? Foxy shook her head ever so slightly, and there was deliberation when she opened her mouth. There are four men I'd like to kill. Xu Fengyan was stunned. What, it's too hard for you? Who the hell are they? The Ten Masters? Foxy replied. Two of them are not inferior to the Ten Masters. The other two are even more formidable. Out of the four, two do not belong to the Liang Kingdom. Xu Fengyan slapped his thigh and exclaimed... You go, champ. I like brave guys like you, but the Ting Chao Pavilion isn't a place you can enter at will. White Foxface said, Beggar Xu, name your terms. Xu Fengyan said, Just one. Tell me your name. Nangong Puye, came the reply from the White Foxface. 